January 15th. I want to say something to y'all real quick here. Um, now, you remember how I said I like using the name Jesus Christ? Now, also, I want to make something clear. The Spanish people, they have a different language, okay? But in their language, when they say Jesus, that's Jesus, okay? Jesus is Jesus. That's fine. I don't mind if they're using their language, which still says Jesus. It's there's other names that are coming out being used that doesn't even reflect to the name Jesus, okay? Those are the ones where I'm not tolerating it. You know, Jesus Christ is spoken in many different languages. I'm well aware of that. That's just common sense. But there's a lot of names that are being used that are not um, Jesus. They're just different names. I don't know what they are, but they're not the name of Jesus Christ. Another thing, here in America, okay, most people here speak English. They read English. They talk English, okay? So I say it to where they can clearly understand what I'm saying. Because you see, when you're using all these other names and then you got people here that don't speak all these other names, Hebrew or whatever, Spanish, and they're like, what is that? What is that? And then all of a sudden that leaves a door open for people to come in with a whole new name. And that's where people got to stop and think about those that are being deceived so easily because of the different multiple names that are being used all the time. And they're trying, and don't, don't kid yourself, they're trying very hard to get rid of the name of Jesus Christ. Now you see how those clouds are being pulled apart out there, stretched apart? That's exactly what's going to happen here to the earth. It's going to be pulled apart. It's going to be stretched apart. I don't know if you're able to see that or not. But uh, that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. Um, make no mistake about this, okay? I use the name Jesus Christ because I know perfectly. See, I don't read Hebrew. I don't read Spanish. I don't read any other language out there. So there's only one language that I understand Jesus Christ, and that's in English. Okay, so when you're using all these different names, and you got people that don't speak all these different languages, they don't know what they're reading. And then they're going to think, oh, is that what I need to start saying? And then remember now, they're going to have other people coming in there deceiving them still. Oh, well, we also use this name, too, and this name, and this name. We've never had so much problem before as we do today because people want to get so sophisticated and use names when they don't even speak Hebrew. But they want to use these names like they are, like they're a Hebrew expert. Now, you got to remember, where was Jesus Christ crucified? And why did they crucify him? See, they didn't accept him then as the Messiah. And they don't accept him today as the Messiah. And if you don't think that they don't want to try to get rid of that name, you better think again. This is not the time to be complicating it. This is the time to be making it much more simpler, you know, than making things more worse than they already are. That's why there's so much division in this church, because we got so much division in America, where people want to come up with all these different names and different callings and different churches and different religions. And we got so much different stuff, man. People are far from being unified. But here in America, in my Bible, it says Jesus Christ. This is what it says in my Bible, Jesus Christ. Why is it so many people here in America want to complicate that? It's not a Hebrew. It's an English written Bible for people that speak English. And there's nothing complicating about it. But people sure do have a way of complicating that, don't they? And with what's getting ready to happen, I would think very carefully on do you want to complicate things? Do you want to bicker and make things even worse? Because remember, there's a lot of people that ain't never even picked up and read that Bible. 
let alone all these different names that are being used out there, this ain't the time to be confusing them too. Because remember, he says he'll, he'll hold their blood is going to be accountable on you. So if you want to use all these different names from all these different countries, even these people don't even have a clue what you're talking about. But in this Bible, it says 987 times, I think, the name of Jesus Christ. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. This ain't the time to uh, make it difficult. This is the time to unify and draw together and be on the same. And I've never met so many people before in my life as I have here in America today that are trying to cause so much division. And for some reason, they don't want to use the name Jesus Christ. That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense at all. God bless you, and I pray that you're found worthy to escape what's about to happen.